Hi, it's Mark, your Madison Cork Dork. Today I got a gift from me to me. Actually, uh, my brother got me a $55 zero, uh, dollar Amazon gift card and I decided to purchase a decanter. Um, I've had my eye on a Swan decanter for a long time. Uh, obviously, I like the elegant design here. And the brand is called... Nutripus or Nutribius, new Nutriopus, doesn't matter. What matters is it's got my endorsement. I mean, just look at this. Now, um, this holds uh, about 1.5 liters, also known as a Magnum. Uh, the standard bottle of wine is 750 milliliters, so this holds twice the standard bottle. Now, the purpose of decanting is to let the wine breathe. Some people use it to soften the tannins. Um, for example, if you don't like that grippy feeling of Cabernet Sauvignon or maybe Nebbiolo, uh, this is what you can use to make them a little less grippy. So, decanting. Uh, it, some people believe that to get a wine to breathe is to simply open the uh, bottle itself and let it sit for, I don't know, a couple of minutes or something like that. And the reason why that's flawed thinking is because the surface area of the wine and the air is pretty darn small. You want to get that air to wine surface area rather large, and that's where this beauty comes in. Again, uh, you just pour it in and then boom you'll get the surface area here and not only so but you also have air coming in from here as well most of canners don't look at look like this it's more well stuff that you'll see in a restaurant I'm sure you've uh, if you've ordered wine at a restaurant they have your typical bowl shape decanter um, that's normally what you'll see a standard decanter now how to pour into decanter, I have a video on that one, but basically the same principle will apply to a swan decanter. You want to hit it at an angle so that, again, it will get more air slash breath into the wine itself. Now how long you decant a wine for depends on the varietal itself. Um, some require like at least an hour others may 45 minutes 30 minutes it depends on how much body the wine has generally speaking the fuller the body and the more tannin it has the longer uh, you want it in the decanter so I am very much looking forward to using this uh, bad girl and um, another fun fact about having the swan decanter is that it's easier to control your pores because it can come out of this bottom hole here. Well, I mean, bottom, such a relative term, considering these are both up top. Nevertheless, um, this is a swan decanter. Um, I will give a review probably, or maybe show you a video of me pouring it. And also, one of the uh, benefits of having a decanter is that it supposedly makes cheap wine actually taste pretty good. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just purchase some two buck chuck and try a little before and after experiment with uh, decanting. Anyway, this is uh, Mark, your Madison Cork Dork. Um, you can like and subscribe, share this video, uh, more content of course will come your way when you subscribe. Uh, you can also follow me on Vivino, uh, which is a wine app, and that's uh, spelled V-I-V-I-N-O, at Madison Cork Dork, or you can follow me on Instagram at Madison Cork Dork. And that all being said, have a fantastic rest of your day.